What I did is, I was friendly, I just said hello. And just by saying hello, it completely changed my life. He said, if you ever want to come to Norway and use my studio, then, uh, then, then come, and so I did. And that was the thing, that's taking an opportunity. Okay? So the man, first of all, he said, would you like to have a go? And I said, yes, I would. He was wanting me to make this thing bigger than this room. I was terrified. Now, at that moment, I was, it was one of those moments where I was thinking, shall I walk out the door, or shall I just try? Shall I just try my best and just see what happens? Because if I try and I fail, okay, it will be a little bit embarrassing, but at least I will know. I will know if it was worthwhile doing it. And I asked him, would it be okay if I had a go at ice sculpting? So he's a sand sculptor who came up there. And he says, yes, of course, Jim. You've got gone to Finland this winter. So I went to Finland that winter and made an ice sculpture with Mr. Kimo Frost. And he's like this really big guy, he's like a polar bear, he's very, very strong. And I learned ice sculpture from him. He then worked abroad and became an ice sculptor as well. And that's how I became an ice sculptor. But it was making opportunities for myself. I've got an owl. Now, if I made an owl flying like this, and then I put it in your playground, it's made of ice, what would happen to the owl? So, uh, yes. It'd melt. It's going to melt. What else would happen to it? It's just like this. Yeah. It's going to break, isn't it? It's going to fall over, isn't it? So what we've had to do is, we're going to make a little tree. Right? So we're going to make this little tree, and the owl's going to be kind of on the tree. But it's, this, is, this is really a tree, but really it's just a support to have the, the owl doing it. You essentially, how can I say, you've got a, a big block of ice. It's very uninspiring, but in there is an owl somewhere. And what you're doing is you're taking it away, and you're removing the material that doesn't need to be there. It's got a chainsaw to cut through the ice. So your chainsaw usually use a wood, but in ice sculpture, chainsaws are very, very common too. Now you've got the outline of an owl, and that's what's outside. And so what I'll do is I'll cut out the tree a little bit, and I'll sculpt the owl, I'll give it some feathers. I've, yeah, I mean, I've made lots of sculptures before, but I've never made an owl. And have I made it this quick? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Okay? And that's the thing is, in life, you've just got to give it a go and try, and you never know. It's all right to make mistakes because um, when you're when you're doing things, sometimes you get a bit hard on yourself, and it's fine to make mistakes. Um, and then to be really creative, to make things amazing things, you sometimes have to work in a team. 